Yeah. And you know what? A lot, of te- a lot of teenagers getting rich, and it's awesome like to watch this life-changing moment. Big night for guys crying. I'm proud yeah. of them. Yeah. As a guy who cries a fair amount, that really was an awesome was. thing to see these guys. Well, especially because, you know, we listen, Zion Williamson we knew was going to be the number one overall right. pick for about you know midway through the basketball season this year in college. And he knew that, too, I'm sure, in his heart of hearts. But to see the moment still hit him like that was awesome. Yeah, and can we can we forever get rid of the phrase crying like a baby? Because I'm for the phrase crying like a man. Yeah. Right? Let's cry like men. Whenever something gets you and it it touches your soul and it gets you and all you get all the feels in the good spot, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. That's yeah. not being a baby. That's it, being a full grown man. It started man. with Zion, which which uh, we'd seen so much of this kid and his bubbly, great, smiling personality. So that really kind of kind of like that was like a wow moment for me. And then kind of player after player was going through the emotions. And, and I had your thought as well. I'm like, well, this is actually pretty cool, you know, to see these kids who talked about the work they had put in. I mean, kids writing goals down at 12 or I dreamed about this when I was four. I mean, these guys are teenagers and they're talking about I've been working all my life for this. I'm like, wait a minute. Well, you're 18, 19 years old, yeah. but this is what they've been doing. Yeah, it, it exactly. Is their lifespan. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. During right. that yeah. life period. God, when I was four, I think I wanted to be a firefighter. I, I mean, it's these guys were a lot more uh, set on their goals at that point in time. I'm now picturing you in a fire hat boots and the coat holding the hose and it's working exactly you know throw this out there you know to the public but a four you had a bedwetting problem so i was like you're well probably i was you know i was i was a cry guy i was a cry guy then i'm a cry guy now (laughs) you know hose (laughs) watering it's all it all it all works dear god it's it's all all move away from that one and go back to all these guys having the emotional moment but you know what it was for them too a lot of it seemed centered around, mm-hmm. and for Zion, this was especially true, and for RJ, obviously, it's a big moment for the kids and their parents. You saw Zion have that moment with his mom, who we heard from Maria Taylor, was right. his coach all the way up until the time he was 14. RJ Barrett was up there with his dad, and obviously, that got emotional for the two of them, and so you forget, it's a big culmination for all the families involved in this, too. A- absolutely. So, the, the draft started as expected. The first three picks did go as expected, and it begun with Z Day in New Orleans, you had Marty Smith out there in New Orleans crowd surfing before the pick was made. Clearly, they were excited. The Pelicans and their fans were. And you mentioned how emotional Zion got. Here is Zion when the moment hit him. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I didn't think I'd be in this position. My mom sacrificed a lot for me. I, w- I wouldn't be here without my mom. She did. She did everything for me. I just want to thank her. And, of course, his mom was standing right there with him. And what you don't hear in the soundbite, you hear the pause, but the lip quiver. Oh, and then man. the single yep. tear, right? That That's – I mean, I – that was striking. I mean, I don't know how people do the single tier. He even I, cries better than all of us. Exactly. Well, As if the basketball skill wasn't better. No one cries better than Sean Moreno. But but yeah, outside of that, outside of that. I mean, it, so Maria Taylor's doing the interview, and he actually, I knew he she was going to bring in uh, Zion's mom, but she had to go to him sooner than she thought because Zion – Stop! Couldn't couldn't talk anymore. Yeah, for a kid. I mean, that that, is, what a moment that we, was. We talked about yesterday has been as comfortable and at ease with every part of this process as humanly possible. To see that there, he's essentially been perfect. Like yeah, I, I, I'm almost, I'm almost putting my guard up now because he seems too good to be true. It's been that much fun to watch him through this. And how do you not root for that kid? Yeah. What part of his story and his process has? Cre- I mean, he made Duke likable for a lot is, of people. Is it what fair, a feat! Is it fair to say <laughs> there's nobody that had pressure on him coming out since LeBron, right? Yeah, yeah, I, think I, that's I can't. Fair. Any I think player that's since LeBron, but you know, from LeBron to now, that has had as much pressure. And remember, LeBron, LeBron handled it. Now he even was younger because he came right, you know, right out of high school. And LeBron has handled everything incredibly well, especially in the beginning of that as well as a teenager. And God, think about it for LeBron too. LeBron, because we've talked about the the challenge of going to New Orleans. It's not necessarily one of these major markets. For LeBron, it wasn't a major market, but it was his hometown essentially. Right, right. Like LeBron had all that, and he was supposed to lift up the area he was from and do that. And so Zion, I think it's because of just the aura around him. He checks so many of the boxes in a day and age where you could argue it's even harder because of the way that that we now pay attention, the immediacy, social media, all these ways people have access to Zion now that have upped the ante a bit. Yeah, and the other thing, which is which sounds weird now, especially for us sitting in this studio every day, we've been talking about Zion since day one of the college basketball season, right? 
But let's remember that started in what uh, November, right? Right, early yeah. November. At this point in November, literally no one was talking about Zion Williamson being the number one overall pick in the draft. The con- the the context was he wasn't even the best player on his own team. Yep. A- and so when you say, well, of course Zion was going to go number one. That moved up on us pretty fast, right? I mean, th- I think that's one of the reasons why the emotion was there. It's like, how did I, how did I get from there to here? Sorry, uh, that quickly. I mean, that's part of the equation. YouTube videos, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It-